Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bot or Not. I'm your host, Average Sniper. Smack that like button if you think you'll enjoy this. And leave a comment, because comments always help the stream. So, what we're going to do is we're going to watch this PUBG gameplay. We'll chat about PUBG 2 and other things PUBG related. Every time I get a kill, we're going to guess whether it was a bot or a real player. And we're going to use a special website to look it up to see whether each kill was legit or not. Keep track of how many answers you get right and how many answers you get wrong so you can score yourself at the end of bot or not. I thought I was tripping there too, Kenny. I started the wrong gameplay because uh, when I recorded this, I forgot to hit the stop recording in between the matches. All right, so we are playing on Vikendi and we are landing at Winery. Winery actually has really good loot. Uh, yes, Ace Trey, this is a gameplay from the last stream. Uh, pretty high kill gameplay. And I think there was a good amount of bots versus real players. But we're about to find out. You know, I've been really loving the G36 assault rifle lately. Maybe even a little more than the M4. It just seems to hit so hard. What's you guys' experience with it? Let me know. Look at all that ammo we just found right at the beginning. That is awesome. So we've actually got an M4 and a G36. I am always surprised by how good the loot is at winery. Always surprised by how good the loot is at winery. There's a three times scope. Smoke grenade. Now, I usually take the M16 for long range when I don't have a DMR because, believe it or not, the M16 works very well as a long range weapon if you keep it on single fire and you have a decent optic on it. Right now, we have the three times optic. Just a plethora of loot down here, guys. So much loot, I don't even know what to take, but no vest so far. Now there's the Mini-14, that is a real DMR, great for long range, and look at that, we've got a half grip on the ground. The half grip, and oh, there's a vert grip. The vert grip is definitely the one you want for the G36. It controls the recoil so well. And then the other thing you'll want for it, obviously, is a compensator, but a flash hider um, will definitely help slightly reduce the vertical recoil. There's a level 3 vest hidden in the corner. Man. This place has excellent, excellent loot. I remember this gameplay because uh, someone became a member and donated and requested that I land here. Now we picked up the Mosin Nagant because I was just in a mood for bolt actions. Usually I will take a bolt action sniper rifle over a DMR like a Mini-14, depending on the map. The only time I usually have an exception to that rule is when I'm playing on Sanak. All right, so while we're waiting for our first encounter with an enemy here, let's talk a little bit about PUBG 2, guys. So it's almost like the rumors have been confirmed, um, but I haven't seen anything in stone. I haven't seen anything that says 100% PUBG 2 is coming out. Haven't seen anything like that yet. Um, but apparently one or two of the PUBG 2 developers have confirmed that there will be a PUBG 2. Now, initially, I had heard that this was going to just be PUBG Mobile version 2, which would still be awesome because PUBG Mobile is... A, I'm a horrible driver right now. Because PUBG Mobile is actually, in my opinion, one of the best mobile games ever made. I've been playing quite a bit of it on my tablet, and I have to say, it is comparable to a PC and console experience. Once you get used to um, playing mobile games. If you're already used to playing mobile games, that's cool, but I was like a total foreigner to play in mobile games, trying to figure out what to do with my thumbs, and I, I ended up using the three-finger claw works best for me. The four-finger claw is a little much. I don't think I really need it. Oh, look at this. Groza, ghillie suit. We're definitely taking that Groza. Now, the Groza only takes an extended mag and a silencer, so we can't put the flash hider or the vert grip on it. Definitely have to know to con how to control the recoil if you decide to take that Groza. Josh G with the $2.23 says, I like the camera setup. Thank you, Josh G. I'm oh, glad you like the camera yeah. setup. This is a live stream, but we are recording a live bot or not video 
uh, for YouTube. That drop did almost crush me, but I was in the car. Sometimes, if you uh, you can actually catch the drop. All right, so we've got level three gear. We don't really need too much more loot, except for maybe some more first aid kits. First aid kits are looking a little low. We definitely need an extended mag for the Groza. And we need a suppressor for it. Not a huge priority, but definitely something that could save your life if you potato more than 30 bullets at a guy. <laughs> Josh G, thanks again for the $2. And 23 cents. I appreciate that, man. And I'm glad you like the camera setup. It's great to have you in the stream, bro. It's great to have you in the stream. I don't know what I'm doing here. What was I doing there? Just uh, checking out the fancy design on this sink. Look at those details, guys. By the way, these graphics are currently in ultra settings. I might have been taking a food break here. Let's fast forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I was probably calling out a donation or taking a food break right there while I was sitting there admiring uh, the scum on the back of that sink. <laughs> Let me know what you guys' favorite ghillie suit is to have on Vikendi. Would you prefer the white ghillie suit or the green ghillie suit? Oh, I hear footsteps. I think we're going to have our first enemy encounter right here. Thanks, Mrs. O. I don't know why he just shot his gun. But he's definitely looting that building right in front of us. Yes, the Groza is an amazing gun, Anthony. That is true. Thanks, Jericho. I'm glad you liked the last bot or not video. I hear his footsteps. It's on the other side of this house. Here he comes. All right, we got our first kill. What do you guys think? Bot or not? Let's find out. I'm going to type the name in and copy it. And then we're going to head over to pubg.op.gg. We're going to search him up. Type in the chat or the comments now what you think. Was that first guy a bot or not? And it looks like this is a real player. Let's renew the stats and take a look. All right. So I don't see... I don't see a lot of information other than how much he's playing the game here. I don't see any first places, but it looks like he gets maybe one to three kills on average. A lot of zero kill games. He doesn't play solo that much. I don't think these stats are very updated. Let's refresh the page and see. Yeah, not too much. But this guy was definitely a real player. If you guessed that it was not a bot, you got it correct. Let's continue on with the gameplay. So that was our first kill, and we did get an extended mag for the Groza. A little more 762. But no more first aid kits. That's the main thing we need is more first aid kits. Oh, why do I have a level one backpack? Maybe there was no level three backpack in that care package. I believe care packages always guarantee you a level three vest, level three helmet, and some kind of weapon. But I don't think they always guarantee you a level three backpack. But there's a level two backpack, so we're going to be okay here. So right now we've got the Groza and the Mosin Nagant as our loadout. Uh, yes, Ace Trey, I will say my guess uh, from here on out on uh, each player. I actually didn't even guess on the first one. I That was my bad. I just left it up to you guys to guess. But I will do my own guessing from here on out on each kill. We'll see how many I get right too. There's a guy. That guy had a white ghillie suit. 
All right, so what do you guys think, bot or not? I kind of feel guilty if I tell you my guess ahead of time because then you might just type in what I say. So I'll tell you what, I'll wait just until, I'll wait right before I type the name in and then I'll say my guess, all right? So let me type this guy's, uh, let me copy this guy's name. And we'll look it up. Most realistic virtual lover. Nice, nice advertisement. PUBG.op.gg. <laughs> All right. So this is a real player. And fortunately, I guess this was a real player. But I already met this guy in the chat after I killed him. He came in the chat to say hi. So I didn't have to guess this one. I already knew that he was a real player. I hope you guys got this right. That is two real players and no bots yet. All right, let's continue on with the gameplay. Now this guy has what we need. He's got the level three backpack. He's got tons of boosts, tons of first aid kits, but I took way too many boosts. I have 16 boosts and a lot of times I do that and I sit there wondering, oh look, he also has the Mark 14. Let's put the extended mag on the Mark 14 and put the quick draw mag on the Groza until we find something better. And uh, look at me, look at what I can drop to pick up more first aid kits. I'm like, wow, why do I have so many painkillers? I do not need 16 boosts. I don't think anybody ever needs 16 boosts unless you plan on keeping a full boost bar for the entirety of the match. Welcome everybody Join just joining the video or the stream. Welcome. We are playing an episode of Bot or Not before we go full live. I also like to keep a boost bar running at pretty much any time in the match. Um, right there I did a painkiller because there was another painkiller I could pick up, but my backpack was full. So I figured, why not do a painkiller, just have a boost running, and then pick up this extra painkiller? It's like I didn't even lose one. You never know when you're going to get into a gunfight and that painkiller might save your millimeter of health that's just barely keeping you alive. Yes, the game is in 1440p and so is the stream, Mr. Unknown. This is 1440p ultra settings, running an average of 150 to 200 frames per second. And this is PUBG PC Steam version. I'm going to have to try PUBG Lite again sometime soon and uh, see if that how that still runs. And there's some gunshots behind me. Let's go ahead and investigate that and see what's going on here. Yeah, Remy likes to keep a lot of bandages, that's right. <laughs> he likes to keep a lot of 762 too. All right, we're up to 3 kills now, guys. Put your guesses in now. Was that a bot or was that a real person? Leave your comments in the stream chat or the comments. I'm going to copy the name. And right before I push the look up button, I'm going to tell you guys my guess. I guess that this is a bot. And I am right. That is a bot. So that's the first bot we've killed. The other two players we've killed were real players. So I hope you guys got that one right. Hope you got it right. Let's see what kind of loot this bot has. He's got a compensator, but that won't work for us. Oh, there's the extended quick draw mag we've been looking for. Pretty much don't need anything else from this guy. Let's go ahead and move on with the rest of the match. Looks like a lot of people got that one wrong. I swear, guys, I think they've improved the bots so much. I think they've improved the bots so much since they first introduced them. This bot or not... Oh, there's a care package right to the north. This bot or not game used to be so incredibly easy to guess, but now even I end up getting them wrong. Sometimes the bots can actually have ghillie suits, level three gear. They can throw grenades and things now. They can go prone and crouch. I'm not sure if they can jump, but I know they can lean. Uh, but I'm almost 100% certain 
that they cannot drive cars. They cannot drive cars. If you see someone driving a car, it is almost, it is guaranteed that they are a real player. I have never once seen a bot drive a car. But how crazy would that be if the bots started driving around and just road killing people? I don't even know why we're going after this crate. We already have two care package weapons. We, ha we, we literally have a Mark 14 DMR fully loaded and we've got a Groza. The only thing we don't have on the Groza, I believe, is a suppressor. Maybe we... No, no, I'm pretty sure we don't have a suppressor on the Groza. Alright, there's a car there. There's a guy, he just got a white ghillie suit. That's a headshot. That's two hits on him. A headshot and a body shot, it looks like. But somehow he didn't die. It must be that level 3 helmet and level 3 vest protecting him. I am going to shoot the tires out on his car. There we go. He's not going to be driving anywhere. Alright, that guy took our care package, unfortunately. Not like we even needed it, though. The care package addiction is real. That is 100%. Let's go ahead and check these gunshots out behind us. Anytime I'm about to get into a gunfight, if I don't have a boost running, I try my best to remember to drink a couple energy drinks or a painkiller. I like to save the painkillers to the very end of the match because they help you heal faster. There's a guy right there. And, ooh, there's the other guy right there on that tree. All right, we got the kill on him. What do you guys think? Bot or not? For kill number four, is that a bot or not? Let me go ahead and copy his name. And we will look this guy up. Type right now what you think in the comments or the live stream chat. I think this is a bot. I got this one right. That is definitely a bot. That player is not registered, which means they their screen name does not exist, which proves that we just killed, for kill number four, a bot. So we're 50-50 we're, we're now. We've killed two bots and two real players. I hope you guys got it right. It looks like most people got it right. And yes, bots can now use throwables. Yes, they can. All right, let's relocate our position a little bit and try to move up to where we killed that bot. See if we can find this guy that was shooting at the bot. His last known position was on this rock right in front of us. Let's approach the rock cautiously and use these trees as cover just in case he sees us coming. I hear his footsteps. All right. Kill number five. What do you guys think? For kill number five, is that a bot or not? Leave your answer in the chat or in the comments. I'm going to copy this guy's name down. We're going to look it up right now. And I will let you know what I think right before I hit the search button. All right, guys. I think I am going to go with bot. Oh, I got another one right. These have been pretty easy to guess. I guessed bot because he only had a level one helmet and uh, he looked like he was a default skin character. If he had, if he had had a better helmet and a different uh, character skin, I probably would have guessed real player that I just caught by surprise. I hope you guys got that one right for kill number five. That was a bot. So we've killed three bots and two real players so far. Dirty little bot. <laughs> so true. There's a car up there. We've got a four times scope for our Mark 14 now. I prefer the six or eight times, but the four times scope I actually seem to have really good luck with. The only reason I don't prefer the four times scope all the time is because it just doesn't have the same reach that the six or eight times has. Anytime I have a bolt action sniper rifle, I definitely want a six or an eight, but I get along just fine with the four times scope most of the time. So there is a care package coming down behind me. 
I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Maybe I was spazzing out while I was playing this game. I'm just slowly moving in circles. Probably reading off a donation or something. I don't know. Or just being a weirdo. So that's what I usually do when I'm looking at the chat when I'm live streaming. Is I have my character, unless, I, unless I'm in a house with full cover, I just move my character in circles so nobody can get an easy headshot on me uh, while I'm not paying attention to the game. Hey, what's up, Lieutenant Dan? Sometimes you cannot tell bots by their names. It is true that a lot of the bots have underscores in their names, but it's also true that a lot of real players have underscores in their name as well, and some of the bots now do not have underscores in their name. There's been plenty of times I've got bot or not answers wrong because the name does not have any underscores, and it's still turned out to be a bot. I'm getting pretty thirsty. I'm going to take a drink. A car just pulled up right here. Oh, headshot. What do you guys think? Bot or not for kill number six. Let's type the name in. Some of these some of these players have the weirdest names. Bots too. All right, leave your leave your guess for bot or not in the chat or the comments. Let's go ahead and search this name. I'm going to guess this is a real player. Oh, got another one right. This is a real player. Does has 289 games played, four wins and 31 top tens. 1.11 KD and average damage of 131. This is a decent. PUBG player. I hope you guys got it right. It looks like almost everyone got it right except a couple people. Rip in the chat to people who guessed bot. That was kill number six. Now we got a guy on a bridge. He's just giving me easy shots. Oh, that Mark 14 just destroyed him. Kill number seven. That was a double kill right here. We got another guess to do, guys. Let me copy the name down. Leave your guess in the live stream chat or the comments right now. We're going to look this up. I myself am going to guess real player. And yes, this is a real player. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get some updated stats. Here we go. All right, only three solo games with a KD of 1.67. Uh, so this is a pretty decent player. It looks like played three games and still maintains a KD over one. It looks like almost everybody got that right except a few people. Rip in the chat for people that guessed bot. That was a real player. If you looked close, you could see that he had a level 3 vest. And it is true that sometimes bots can have level 3 gear, but it is very rare. They have to pick that gear up off the ground. So the only time a bot can have a level 3 helmet or level 3 vest is if they find one while they are casually looting. Because we all know that one of the things bots suck at the most is looting. So we're 7 kills in, 27 people alive. We've still got our Groza, and so far, uh, we've found two other people with white ghillie suits and level 3 gear. Looks like almost every real player we come across has some type of level 3 gear. Uh, so we're doing pretty good so far, I think. 7 kills, 26 alive. Dropping a first aid kit to make some room for a little bit more ammo. And that worked out perfectly. Now we have a little, little over 200 rounds of 762 outside of both of our main weapons. Now I do hear some gunshots from the other side of the city. So let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, there's a guy running out there in the field it looks like. I think he just I just I think he just went behind that defilade cover. 
That's not him. That's a different guy. Kill number eight. We're up to eight kills, guys. What do you think? Is this a bot or not? Leave your answer right now. I'm going to copy the name. Head over to PUBG report or pubg.op.gg. I think I closed my eyes because I searched too quick. I think it's a bot. I'm opening my eyes now. <gasps> it's a real player. Oh my God. How many people got that one wrong? Oh my God. I'm, I totally missed that one. That is a real player. It looks like if we look at all the games, they only get zero to one kill per match. So probably a fairly new player or a very passive player. Or maybe just someone that enjoys the game but is not that good at it. Who knows? That was not a bot. Wow. I missed one, guys. I missed one. I'm hurt. I missed kill number eight. Damn it. They are playing like bots, Giovanni. What's wrong with them? <laughs> That would that was one hundred percent bot movement. I would guess bot every time on a player that reacted like that to getting shot. I would guess bot every single time, and most of the time I think I would be right. Ramy says it's a human bot, so it counts. <laughs> uh, no, Zachary Smith, not for years, my friend, not for years. They. Ch they changed that setting about six months into PUBG PC where you don't have to double tap. You can change that to just hold the aim. Yes, that is true. That is exactly what bots do. When you start shooting them, they usually stop for a second or two and change direction. But before they change direction, they completely freeze in their tracks. And it makes me potato so hard because when I shoot at somebody, the last thing I expect them to do is stand still and just stand there. There's a guy in a window right here. Oh, we got a great hit on him. He probably won't peek again. Let's use this opportunity to grab some cover. Oh, he did shoot at us again. But I think I think we're safe. I think we can get away from this guy. I don't I don't think that guy in the window is a bot. Hey, what's up, Red Letters? One of the biggest complaints about YouTube videos and streaming is that people don't get notifications. The reason for this is that your YouTube account is connected directly to your Google account, and there's about a million security settings that all right, guys, there's about a million security settings that can be changed that will stop notifications from coming in. So if you're not getting notifications, check your YouTube settings and your Google account settings to fix it. All right, nine kills. Um, let's see if that guy was a bot or not. All right, guys, before I search, I am going to guess that was a bot. Oh, <laughs> I've got two wrong in a row now. This is a real player. How? How are these guys real players? The underscore in the name wearing the green dino suit. How confusing is that? I think these guys are actually trying to pretend to be bots to make people take them less seriously in the game and underestimate them and give themselves an advantage against the enemy. My God, that's two guys in a row that I always would have guessed bot. Wow. I've got two wrong so far, guys. Kill number eight and kill number nine. I guessed bot on both, but they were both real players. Zachary Smith, I played PC for two I played PC PUBG for 2000 hours before it came out on Xbox. Then I played it on Xbox for 2000 hours, then I switched back to PC. So I've been in I've been in both worlds, my friend, but I'm I don't play console anymore. I am fully dedicated to playing on PC, and that is why I support crossplay games cuz I love to play with my console friends even though I still play on PC. Lots of work to be done on the current state of crossplay, but that's a conversation for a different stream video. Definitely a conversation for another time. 
All right, what are we up to? Nine kills and 12 alive. We are doing pretty good here, guys. We are doing pretty good. I am not doing good at guessing bot or not. I think I've gotten two wrong now. Two in a row wrong. Some, some of these players act like complete bots. Look, there's a guy on the roof. Oh, if that was a if that first one was a headshot, that guy would be dead. All we needed was a headshot and a body shot, but I completely potatoed him. I'm so trash. I am so trash. Well, just I guess just those shots. All right. So, I'm going to lose the ghillie suit because we need to be camouflaged now. And I think that white ghillie suit sticks out like a sore thumb in a lot of different environments. So we're going to lose the ghillie suit and do a little bit of bush camping. Try and get in the top 10 and maybe pull in a chicken dinner. And we will keep guessing bot or not on every kill that we get from here on out. Hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this live stream or this episode of bot or not. I see we currently have 330 viewers and 166 likes. Let's see if we can get to 200 likes before the end of this bot or not episode. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. All right, so this is proving to be a much harder episode of bot or not than I thought. I, I always think of myself as uh, being very well-versed at uh, determining whether a player is a bot or a real person. But apparently, um, there's a lot of bots that are real people. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. There's a lot of bots that are real people, apparently. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is always a tense situation when you're in the top 10, or in this case, the top 8. There's not a lot of cover, and you're forced to use concealment because you know there's people far away like this guy, and then there's also people that are much closer to you. Look at this guy out here. Oh, we... Mm, that was probably a bad move to shoot at him. He got behind that hill, and now if there's anybody close to me, they know that somebody's in this general vicinity. And we have to move with basically no cover at all here. There's a guy just jumped over the wall. And there's a guy in the window too. There's a guy in the window going burst mode. This guy's going to get away. Oh, 10 kills. 10 kills. Let's go ahead and look this guy up and see whether he was a bot or not. All right, guys, leave your answers in the stream chat or the comments section now for our 10th kill. Was that a bot or a real player? I'm afraid to guess because I've got two wrong in a row. But I'm going to say for this one, I think it was a real player. Yes, I finally got one right. This is definitely a real player. Looks like he has a 2.1 kill death ratio, 211 games played, 6 wins, and 38 top 10s. This is definitely the most experienced enemy we've come across this entire match. And we got the kill on him for kill number 10. Looks like everybody got that right except just a couple people. Rip in the chat for the people that got it wrong. Thank you very much, MV. I appreciate that. All right, we've got 10 kills and there are five alive. That guy that was in the window died outside the play zone. Now we're up to four alive. Somebody across the circle just got shot. Let's see if we can find a place to heal without getting killed. And we're good. Okay. We've got a boost bar running, but let's take another energy drink. Just try and keep the boost bar 100% full here for the final circle. Now, I'm looking at the uh, map here. I know you guys can't see it because my webcam is in front of it. But um, now look at this. I'm, I ran into the blue to grab more ammo. I forgot I did that little move. I'm, I'm always so paranoid about running out of ammo in the final circle. I think it was worth it. But you see that little island in the ice in front of me? That island is in. And if I get there, I might have a perfect position 
to get the chicken dinner. I might be exposed running there, but sometimes the risk is worth the reward. So if I can get out to that island and everybody has to run across the ice to get to me, it'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. How hard is it to shoot fish in a barrel? I don't know. I've never done it. <laughs> Looks like we're getting across the ice no problem so far. Hey, what's up, Remy? Welcome to Bot or Not, filmed in front of a live audience. All right, this is perfect. I'm in the zone. I've got cover with these rocks, and enemies have to move to me. Oh, nope. shit, there's a grenade. Okay, so there's somebody closer than I thought, and I heard a guy shooting out here. Oh, kill number 11. Let's go ahead and check this out, guys. Do you guys think this is a bot or not? I've got his name copied down. Leave your answers in the live stream chat or the comment section right now. I'm going to run a search and I'm going to guess it was a real player. I'm closing my eyes. Yes, that is a real player. Looks like he's got a 1.3 kill death ratio, 34 games played, one win, and eight top tens. That was a real player. I hope you guys got it right. Looks like. Pretty much everybody got it right. I don't see anybody guessing bot. So I think we have a hundred percent. I think we have a hundred percent bot or win ratio on that one. Eleven kills, two alive. We are now in a one v one situation. And since this guy is throwing grenades at me, he's got to be somewhere close. But I don't want to rule out the possibility that he could be somewhere behind me. Nah, no way he threw a Molotov that far. This guy is, doesn't know where I am, but he is trying to get me. There he is. Easy kill for the win. Before we celebrate that win, let's make a guess whether this last guy was a bot or not. Leave your answers in the live stream chat or the comment section now. I'm going to look it up, and I'm going to guess that this is a bot. I'm totally kidding. I think that was a real player. 100% real player. Let's see. Yes. 100% real player. Oh my god. This is... Okay, that was his FPP. Look, he's played one match of FPP. He won. And his KD says perfect. I've never seen that before. Kudos. But in third person, his KD is 0.88, 237 games played, two wins, 81 top 10s. I think we stole that win from him fair and square. Let's do our victory dance. I hope everybody got that last one right. This has been an episode of Bot or Not with Average Sniper. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and subscribe for more PUBG content. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.